Just so, honestly, so, so grateful. Um, you know, everyone's spoken tonight about the kind of uniqueness of these awards and that, you know, the public have voted, you know, the theatre goers who come and have supported our shows. So, yeah, it really means a lot. You know, there was such a huge rally of support behind me in the show when we started. Um, so this is really beautiful. Oh my God, uh, and I just want to, sorry, I want to thank uh, Natalie Gallagher for like believing in me, Lucy Moss, Ellen Kane, my cast of Legally Blonde, that like, I love you forever. Oh, I have to go. No, I know, I'm, I'm trying not to cry because I cried in my speech. Also, sorry, this absolute, I didn't say it in my speech, but this goes out to people who, oh, don't cry. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Who look like me and, and people who don't, feel like they can't do it but they can they really like you really really can if you really put the work in and try hard it will happen oh my goodness <laughs> a bit to be honest it's the first time I've actually I've been nominated for things before but never won anything I asked and I asked and I asked my agent to get me this audition and um, the fact that then I got it meant the world my favorite bit about playing the part I think even though she's a young girl in the deep southern America I really related to her as being someone um, growing up in the middle of nowhere in Wales and having like that culture of storytelling and being a bit of a tomboy myself when I was younger I think that it felt quite cathartic. Oh my gosh, I am so in shock. To be in that category with such amazing performers, I never dreamed in a million years I would have won that, so I'm so grateful. The reason this particular revival of Legally Blonde has resonated so much with the audiences is because we speak to so many people. We had told the story from a perspective which has never been told before with a diverse cast and it was important. Everybody loved it, it was an absolute sensation, the cast were incredible, the reception was fantastic and I'm so honoured to have been part of that production. Hey What's On Stage Awards, um, I'm so sorry that I can't be there with you all tonight but I just wanted to send a quick little message to say thank you so much for this award, it means a lot and the trials as a project means so much to me and I feel so honoured that I was able to make my professional stage debut alongside some incredibly talented other people who are the future of theatre. Theatre is what made me fall in love with acting um, when I was younger I would just do all of the amateur theatre I could at home um, and so yeah thank you so much I am sorry I can't be with you all and I hope you all have a great evening. Mwah. I'm a little bit dazed to be honest, I just came here straight from doing a matinee uh, and I've got three weeks left on the run so to win this award at this point uh, is just so special and particularly because it's voted for by the audience, it's just amazing. Uh, I love the show, I've wanted to do the show forever um, so getting to go on stage and do those things every day is just incredible and the first time I sang to Find Gravity I think I was terrified. <laughs> uh, it's, it's getting a little bit more manageable now and now I really enjoy it. It's the most powerful feeling in the world. It's a fantastic film and so there's a kind of responsibility um, to the fans of the film that we had to honour and um, every beat of the film we wanted to deliver and I think, I think with such a brilliant team we got there.
There's a lot of people asking me questions, a lot of people staring at me taking pictures. Usually I'm in the background, so you know, um, this is all a bit new to me. But yeah, it's great, it's great, great feeling. I mean, each show is as great as the previous show, but this is way up there because it's such a beautiful production, meant a lot to so many people. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll get to do it again. Well, I'm just stunned because I'm not from London, so I don't know, somehow I thought I, I like, didn't have a fan base, but I guess people like the show, so I'm really happy that I won for the video. Um, it, there's not a lot of awards for video. I mean, there's no Tony category for video, so um, I'm just really happy that I got, that people liked what I did, because I'm really proud of the work on the show. I mean, really incredible. It's a really good team. And like this show, especially, James has put together just an amazing team that's got a really tight bond. Uh, and even like someone like me as a graphic designer who's not always like in house with everyone so much, it's still, you can, it really uh, emanates back to me just how well everyone's doing together. It's been amazing. I think it's amazing. I think it, I just feel that, you know, Casting directors don't get that recognition and it's just wonderful that Watson Sage have started this um, first award. And we're very happy to have won it. <laughs> There's clearly a huge fan base for the Studio Ghibli films and, and so many people I think grew up with that film in particular. That, that there's su such fondness for that piece and actually it really felt like that was a huge responsibility to, to do it justice and, and bring something fresh to it as well as be faithful to uh, the original film. The band was an absolute pleasure to work with, every one of them, like amazing musicians and, and lovely people. I cannot believe I have won this award. I mean, I'm totally blown away. I didn't expect it, not for a second. I was sitting there chewing my gum, had my coat on, like watching the, all the people that were nominated come up and the brilliant shows and their brilliant choreography. And then they said my name. And I was like, oh my God, get my gum out of my mouth, get my coat off. I had not expected it. Thank you, What's On Stage, and all the people that have voted to make that happen. You know, it's a real honor to receive. We've received five awards. Um, you know, this is one of those awards which is a real honor to get, but it feels like a real recognition of the the, the total collaboration that was involved in the creation of this show. Um, I look back at the beginning of the story of how we were asked to do it, and it, it felt like a kind of impossible thing to do, which was kind of why I got excited, why my children told me I should do the show. Um, so I just feel really, really proud and very privileged that this award, which is an audience award, is a real recognition of the spirit of the show. to be part of a company that is so supportive and keeps us all going so that we can produce the best work on stage and to have non-binary representation in our cast this year and in the and backstage yeah it's so so special especially this year We are so lucky that a story which is centred around two queer women has had this reception and young people that love musical theatre came to the turbine 
and loads of them came and making new musicals is hard. Uh, making new musicals that's been being written for 20 years is even harder. And I'm so pleased for the writers, Andy and Bill, that they've got this. They've kind of ferociously been trying to get this on. Yeah. And they forever. got it on. Yeah. How was it for you? It was amazing. And I learned so much about myself as a person. And to see the safe space that we created for queer people, for the queer community, and to allow the queer community within our cast to celebrate themselves as well. It was a very, very magical moment, especially when very wrong things were happening politically in our country and we were performing that show that had a lot of gravitas to it and I felt very proud of all of us for being a part of that show. As I always say, the public knows best and uh, it's, you know, it's fantastic. I mean, you know, we did the show only for one night last, last year, but it's, it's had such an effect and people from people who saw it and then subsequently on television got a much bigger audience and uh, you know I was thrilled how that came out because it was like being there so you know the show as I, as I said in my remarks tonight is something that Stephen Sondheim and I were talking about whilst he was still alive and uh, I, I'm just thrilled that it's gonna it's, it's gonna uh, finally reach its destiny and come back into the West End. I think it's assembling a great team. Um, everybody from choreographer to the musical department are incredible local actors. The young performers in the company are incredible adult company. The energy and talent in our venue in Leicester is just absolutely phenomenal and that all of those ingredients added together and then you add in Elton John's incredible score and the original genius of the piece is woven through by Stephen Dolgy and then of course right at the heart of it is Lee Hall's incre incredible play which really speaks to us I think across the generations. I mean, they were all just gorgeous. Um, I'd worked with Jonathan Bailey before, and I had wanted to work with him again, so we actually had started to look for a play particularly for him, and that's how we found Cock. I'd always wanted to work with Mike as well, so it worked really well, but he was, he was fantastic. He was such a team player. He was such a leader of men. He was, he was just um, joyful, joyful always, and hugely talented. I think he's one of the best actors of his generation. I suppose identity is a big issue and we're all figuring out who we are and I think that the more it removes shame from all those questions is good and hopefully also because it was funny. Particularly in this revival it was very funny and people had a good time. I'm just so excited that this town embraced our production the way New York did and that this bold reimagining is getting this moment uh, in 2023, 80 years after it first premiered on Broadway. It's, it's exciting. Is it sexy Oklahoma? Yes, yes, that is a familiar nickname. It was our nickname on Broadway as well and our nickname on US tour because it is, because it actually tells the story of a passionate community that's fighting against all the struggles that we fight against today, toxic masculinity, what, what it means to shun the outsider, what it means to have, you know, sexual awakenings and, and be a feminist and, and making your point. That's what the show's about. Actually in disbelief, I had no idea this would happen and it's a play that was written in a dark room somewhere and the fact that audiences have embraced it so much and what's on stage have embraced it so much just means everything. Jodi, she was the boldest actor you could ever imagine. She took on this role, a one woman show for her first ever stage debut on the West End. It's a story that's pretty harrowing and she and also funny in parts and she managed to like absolutely encompass the lot. She was brilliant, absolutely stunning. So look up, lean back, be strong. You didn't think you'd live this long, be as one. Hold on, steady stand for
as long as you think you can. I mean, can't believe it. Oh, she can't stop smiling. Yeah, honestly, my cheeks hurt. Yeah. I mean, I honestly didn't expect it. I mean, we know how much the fans love the show, but yeah. I think you never kind of really think that they're going to call out the name of the show that you're in. So, yeah. I Thank was... you so much to everyone who voted for us. It honestly means everything it to does. like have your support. Yeah. It's too late to turn the clock back. I would do it if I could. We could talk about this forever, but it still won't do no good. I wouldn't hurt you for the wall, babe, but we'll get through this somehow. I'm absolutely overwhelmed and uh, humbled and grateful. So thank you very much. We've had a, it's been a bit of a difficult three years and uh, building the new theatre all the way through COVID as well. But you know what? We stood together, we fought, and here we are, 19, it's in fact 2023. And our theatre is doing really well and we've earned it.